welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to talk about some blood pressure related medications which may decrease the aneurysm rupture risk for people with high blood pressure. A multi-center study of more than 3,000 people with high blood pressure and brain aneurysms found that the use of RAS inhibitors, a class of blood pressure lowering medications, reduced the risk of an aneurysm rupture by 18%, according to the new research published today in Hypertension, a peer-reviewed journal of the American Heart Association. An aneurysm is a bulging or weakening in the wall of an artery. When this happens in an artery in the brain, it is called an intracranial aneurysm. If an intracranial aneurysm ruptures, it spills blood around the brain and cuts off oxygen to an affected area which can cause a hemorrhagic stroke, coma and death. These strokes account for 3 to 5 percent of all strokes but a larger proportion of morbidity and mortality than other types of strokes. Each year approximately 30,000 adults in the United States have intracranial aneurysms that rupture according to the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke. Additionally, stroke is a leading cause of disability in the United States. The body's renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, that is RAS, includes hormones that affect blood pressure regulation and this regulation of the RAS can lead to the development of high blood pressure. Two components of RAS have been shown to be involved in the development of intracranial aneurysms and previous research has found that dysregulation of RAS may also contribute to aneurysm rupture. RAS inhibitors, medications that block the effects of the RAS, are often used to treat high blood pressure. More than 3,000 adults with high blood pressure and intra cranial aneurysms were included in this study. The study sample was one-third men and two-thirds women with an average age of 61 year old. Participants hypertension status was categorized as controlled when normal blood pressure with the use of anti-hypertensive medications or uncontrolled that is high blood pressure defined as 140 by 90 mmHg or above with the use of anti-hypertensive medications and was determined by blood pressure measurements taken at one point of time three months before they were hospitalized for an aneurysm. The analysis found that 32% of participants who took RAS inhibitors experienced an intracranial aneurysm rupture compared to 67% of those who used non-RAS inhibitors. Using a multivariable model, the researchers calculated that women's risk of aneurysm rupture was 1.8 times higher than men's risk and that the following factors increased the risk of aneurysm rupture, which were uncontrolled hypertension, exposure to secondhand smoke and untreated type 2 diabetes. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.